is another area where the United States is now thriving like never before. We're getting rid of the falsely named renewables. By the way, they're a joke. They don't work. They're too expensive. They're not strong enough to fire up the plants that you need to make your country great. The wind doesn't blow. Those big windmills are so pathetic and so bad, so expensive to operate. And they have to be rebuilt all the time, and they start to rust and rot. Most expensive energy ever conceived, and it's actually energy. You're supposed to make money with energy, not lose money. You lose money, the governments have to subsidize. You can't put them out without massive subsidies. And most of them are built in China, and I give China a lot of credit. They build them, but they have very few wind farms. So why is it that they build them and they send them all over the world, but they barely use them? You know what they use? Coal. They use gas. They use almost anything, but they don't like wind. But they sure as hell like selling the windmills. Europe, on the other hand, is a long way to go, with many countries being on the brink of destruction because of the green energy agenda. And I give a lot of credit to Germany. Germany was being led down a very sick path, both on immigration, by the way, and on energy. They were going green, and they were going bankrupt. And the new leadership, new leadership came in, and they went back to where they were, with fossil fuel and with nuclear, which is good. It's now safe, and you can do it properly. But they went back to where they were, and they opened up a lot of different plants, energy plants, energy-producing plants, and they're doing well. I, I give Germany a lot of credit for that. They've said this is a disaster, what's happening. They were going all green. All green is all bankrupt. That's what it represents. And it's not politically correct. I'll be very badly criticized for saying it, but I'm here to tell the truth. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me.